in this video we are going to discuss about other type of dimensions that we have we have junk dimension degenerated dimension role playing dimension and slowly changing dimensions we'll look into each of them elaborately first we'll discuss about junk dimension okay so what happens is for example consider we have a order fact okay and now in this fact other than order information we are having certain columns called shipped packed received delivered returned okay so if you see we have this type of information basically in certain cases certain information which are kept in fact are not relevant and can be moved out of fact to a different dimension okay so what we will do is we'll create one dimension called order status we'll have all this columns as shipped packed received delivered and returned in this other than a uh, order status id okay and then we will just populate order status id here in the fact we'll connect this order status id with the order fact so what happens is we are just removing the junk information from order fact and we are creating one more dimension which is a junk dimension so there is a benefit ideally this type of columns are uh, yes no columns or zero one columns now what happens is if you keep more information in fact the fact will become a huge table right so removing this information and creating a simple right this are repetitive information suppose you have uh, the item is only shipped and it's not packed received delivered okay so in this case this would be y rest will be n right so this can be same for many of the orders so rather than repeating this information in the fact what we do is we create a order status dimension and we point the status id of the uh, particular segment what we what is the current status of the order with the order uh, in, into the order fact that would save some space plus this is much more easy to manage other than this we have one more type of dimension which is also called as role playing dimension Okay, I'll write it clearly. Dimension. Okay. So what happens is in role-playing dimension, basically a same type of dimension. Consider time. It is playing multiple roles. So consider we have order fact. Now we can have order date, and we can have shipping date. Right. So this same dimension, time dimension, can once be a order. Uh, order date and it can act as a shipping date as well right so the same dimension is playing multiple roles for the same fact thus this type of dimensions are called role playing dimension now we can have one more example consider your sales fact right you can have a seller id and you can have a buyer id the person who is buying this product and the person who is selling this product in a inventory not in a say inventory okay now this seller and buyer both are actually employees okay so uh, consider this is a b2b okay the seller and the buyer both are uh, employees so in this case uh, the employee dimension is playing a role for both seller and buyer right so this this is a role playing dimension here we can connect the employee for both of them for seller and buyer okay other than this we are talk we are going to talk about the most important one is slowly changing dimensions now what is slowly changing dimension slowly changing dimensions are basically dimensions that stores and manages data this is very important data for both current 
and history historical over the time which manages both current and historical data over the time in in data warehouse okay basically uh, it is it is the most important it is the way we keep the data history data and so there are basically three types with three major types we can say type 1 which we call scd1 there's type 2 which we call scd2 and there's one type 3 which we call scd3 okay so we'll discuss what scd elaborately in coming videos one more that is left is a degenerated dimension. Now we discussed about degenerated dimension in previous videos, but I will explain it here. Consider we have an order fact. Now in order fact, we kept one column called order ID, right? Along with other order informations, right? Now consider this attribute. This is attribute, right, of order, but we are keeping this in fact. Okay, so it doesn't make any sense to create uh, another dimension just for this only attribute piece, right? Only this, uh, only to keep order ID will create another, that doesn't make any sense. So in certain cases, what we do is we keep the attributes in fact. We keep the attributes in fact, fact itself. Those type of uh, informations are called degenerated dimensions. Means we do not create an extra dimension for them. We do not create extra dimensions. Rather, we keep the information in fact itself. Okay. So this concludes our type of dimensions. Now, uh, in coming section, what we will see is we will see SCD1, SCD2, and SCD3 along with examples and these three are the most important type of dimensions that are in data warehouse.